for that instant gratification for your skin. Like if you're like, hmm, you're looking in the mirror and you're like, geez, I just wish I could just go a little bit tighter, <laughs> a little lift every day. This is what, this is a little mat. This is, well, this is it. You know, I said the other day, it's like every, listen, everybody loves to have a great hair day, but how about having a great face day? <laughs> Hey, yeah, uh, Pete, I want to just from the, if we can get to the basics a bit on this. And, yeah. uh, and I love where you're going. Let, let's, let's for those watching for the time, just so we don't assume anything. What does the word sovereign mean? So can you help us give a broad brush of that definition so we can kind of put those pieces together? Yeah, no problem at all. Sovereign basically means that you have supreme authority over your life. No one tells you what to do. No one can control you and force you to do something you don't want to. Mm. You only have one authority, so there's only one type of authority that's yours, okay? That's where authority comes from. It comes from you, it comes from your sovereignty. For someone to have authority over you, you have to give your authority to them and then allow them to have authority over you. And this is done through contract. Very easy to understand. So when you uh, start a job, you work for your boss. You will give some of your authority to your boss within the limitations of that contract. You'll say, OK, I will work Monday to Friday, nine till five, and I will operate the widget making machine. That means that our boss has authority over you within that contract. Very simple stuff here. He can't tell you anything else. He can't tell you about what to eat, what you can do at the weekend, what you can spend your money on. OK, that's not the extension, the extension of the authority that you've given him. So sovereign means that you control your life absolutely, okay? You are in charge of your dominion, you are in charge of your jurisdiction, and you're in control of your court. And here's another thing that people don't understand, is if you are sovereign, you make the law. This is a thing that most people don't understand. They think law comes from government. No, it doesn't, okay? Government is a corporation. It's a legal fiction. That means it only exists on paper. That's what it means, a legal fiction, okay? They don't make law at all, and, and they can't. Law does not come from someone else, okay? That would be a policy. Law comes from you, within your jurisdiction. This is what people need to learn. So if someone should trespass against you, okay, they break into your home, for example. They've just entered your jurisdiction. You are sovereign. You make the law, okay? Then you can dish out your punishment. <laughs> oh, you so, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you think that, um, like, so for example, like when you, April was reading your bio and it's like, you know, it's, we've been tricked into giving our rights over. Is that like, can you give it as an example of how we blatantly from how you're seeing it are being tricked into giving our rights over? Sure. Absolutely. Now, one thing we've got to understand about rights and the same as law, rights don't actually exist until they're violated. Same with law. Law does not exist until it's broken. Okay rights you got to be very careful with the rights they're inherent to you but they're yours you've got to choose what they are it's up to you i know what my rights are i don't know what yours are okay and rights are literally infinite so when you understand what rights are once rights are actually written down okay in a contract it becomes more of a uh, terms and conditions so this is the trick that governments do they will make a claim that they are protecting your rights. And if you accept this, you go, okay, then you can protect my rights. What they will do is they'll put it down and they'll write it down on a piece of paper and they'll say it's your rights. But here's the thing, it's become a privilege. You've lost your right at that point. You see, if you have a right, only adults over the age of consent have rights. Children don't have rights, okay? This is important for people to understand. If you have rights, that also means you have a jurisdiction, you have a dominion. And you have a court. This is a thing that people don't understand how courts operate, okay? Each and every one of us has our court, our own court. You need your court to protect your rights. So if someone violates your rights, you use your court and say, you can't do that. You've got to stop what you're doing, okay? So we go back to rights. Governments, politicians, you know, these people will say, we're going to protect your rights. And they will take your rights, say, right to free speech. They'll write it down on a constitution. It's become a contract at that point, okay? And if you've accepted that, you've given up your dominion. You've given so up your sovereignty. How, how, you go ahead. 
Uh, okay, so yeah. just so I'm following you. So if, if you work for an employer and for any reason that they make you sign an agreement to work for them, yeah. have you lost all your sovereign rights? Uh, this is difficult. It depends on what you've signed. Now, one of the things I teach people, okay, technically I don't teach. I don't like using that word teach, okay? I talk, if people like what I say, and then they go off and check and go, oh, yeah, this guy's right, fine. You know, I don't teach. But anyway, <laughs> one thing I talk about <laughs> is, because um, I don't want people following me, okay? Yeah. I don't want people doing things because they say, oh, Pete Stone said. No, 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 no. If I say something and you think, oh, okay, go and check it out. I want people to check it out. Then they make their own decision and go, okay, this makes sense. I am now going to do that based on the information, not based on what I say. So anyway, so I don't like using the word teach, but um, one of the things I talk about um, is when you sign documents, you should sign it all rights reserved. That means you've reserved all your rights. Oh, so, hold, hold on a second. Okay, so you're saying when you put sign your signature, you should also put an addendum, but you just sure. oh, have we lost right? so um yeah. So we we're saying about um contracts and rights. Yes. Yeah. So if someone when, when you're so are you saying when someone signs their signature, should they put that addendum? Yes. And, just, and what is that addendum again? It's all rights reserved. Now if you're going to sign a contract, you've got to put the additions first. Okay, you can't sign and then add it later because that would be fraud. So before you sign anything, you would write all rights reserved, then you sign. And then you reserve all anything, rights. Like, for anything. example, if you were buying a house or a car or just something even, you know, small. Yes. Um, and what, what, is that, what exactly, Pete, does that do? 